Okay, so if you ordered edgers with your cage, so you're gonna put them on before you set your cage coroplast up, it's easier. The easiest thing to do is you pinch a corner and you can see this is a little wider at the end there. You just slide it in and you just slowly move it down. When you come to your score marks in your cage, just go over them slowly because you don't want to catch them and then, you know, push them back or anything. So just go slow, pull them down. And when you get to the one end, because you're easier to keep going one way, is you want to line it up and leave maybe a eighth or so space is great. Now, your edger doesn't go on your flap. So meaning you won't put it on this roughly six inches or this six inches. It only goes on the actual cage part, which would be this piece and this piece. So next, as you move it all the way down, based on your size, what you have to cut off is not known. When it comes to cutting it off, let's just say you slide this down. And again, because every size is different and you come up with this and it really doesn't matter. Your best bet is take a pen, make yourself a mark or a pencil, whatever, and just get a rough idea. So it gives you an idea because this will rub off. So then you take it off and your best solution or suggestion we have is put it on a cutting board. So, you know, like something you'd use in your kitchen. This way you don't ruin any table or your floor or whatever. And you basically want to just score it. Take it from the back and just score it slowly. Score it slowly a couple times and then just go all the way around it. Very slow. The sharper the knife, sometimes the better. Now, we don't do this, we use a tool. It's a tool with a razor blade in it. It is sold, you know, in your hardware store, you know. And this, if you do use this, cut it towards the back because it, it just doesn't break. So when you do it and you've scored it, it just slowly snaps off. And then, just to give you an idea how it would go, back on, and there's your quarter of an inch. If you're your ink is still there, your pencil, and just rub it off. And that's really it. The same thing with the side. Just pinch and put the thicker part in first. And then it swoop it down. I don't know if that's a word, but swoop it down. So you wanna go. Okay, now if you bought edgers and you wanna put them on your cage and your cage is already together and you don't wanna take it apart, which we are gonna show you how to pop these out, a little neat trick. There's an easy way to do this. First thing you want to take is a screwdriver and you just want to open up one end. That's it, just one end. If you have strong enough fingers, it does help if you can get your finger in there because you can see how your finger can go in there. You don't want to go too wide. Don't open the whole thing because if you do, the problem becomes is you see how it stays open, it'll slide off too easily. All you want to do is get that end, pick it up, slide it over, and then just slowly move it down by pushing down at the same time. Be careful when you get to your score marks because you don't want to catch your score. So you just want to make sure that's together nice and tight. Just take your time. So when you're putting your edgers on, if you're finding it hard to do it with your cage uh, all together, uh, with your rivets in, you can try a spoon to pop them off. You just get behind it. Just hold on to the other one and just pry it. Did you hear a click? See, then now it's apart. And if you don't, still don't have strength, now you could at least get a pair of pliers on it. But the nice thing about a spoon is it won't cut into it. It might dent it a little, but it won't hurt it. It's on the outside, it has no effect. And there you go. Then you could lay it flat and then just put your whole cage back together and just your rivets are reusable because they're a ratchet as you, and there you go.